In today's Madden 21 tip video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite little formations in Madden 21, give you a couple of plays that you can chew on and digest, and probably will help you make you more effective in Madden 21. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Basically, what we do here at the channel is we talk about Madden 21 tips and tricks. I give you different schemes, different strategies, different tactics um, that you can apply in your own game to make you a more effective Madden player. So if you want to get better at the game, I'm not the best player in the world, but I spend a lot of time learning from a lot of people about this game. And so if you want to save yourself some time, click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And I guarantee you, you're going to find something on this channel that you can actually use that will make you a better Madden player. All right, guys, in today's video, I'm talking about the Arizona Cardinals playbook. I'm back in Arizona. I love, love, love Arizona. I think it's the best passing playbook in Madden 21. So if you're really wanting to um, run a pass heavy offense, I would encourage you to go ahead and pick up my Madden 21 competitors guide. It's in the description. We've got over 89 pages of material on the Arizona Cardinals playbook with more uh, potentially coming with the discovery of a couple new formations in here. But I want to show you, um, in my opinion, one of the one of my favorite new little formations in Madden 21. And it was around in Madden 20. Uh, I was very effective in Madden 20. It's I think it's just as, if not more effective in Madden 21. We talked about the play post dig, but the play that we're going to talk about today is flanker drive. I love this play. Um, again, gun cluster, halfback strong. And if you guys have not already joined my text message membership, I highly, highly encourage you to do that. Basically, by joining the text message membership, what you're going to be able to get with that is you're going to get a free Madden 21 tip every single week. We might just put the entire uh, gun cluster scheme into that for you. So be sure to text me. Let me know you want to be a part of that. Literally, my number's at the top left of the hand on the screen. It's 812-216-3644. And we're going to show you this defense just kind of against some standard uh, standard coverages that you're going to face. So first of all, and this is kind of part of why I like it so much, man-to-man -man coverage will have a very difficult time with this play. Um, the only adjustment that I like to make on this, honestly, is take the running back and put him on a wheel route. There's really no other adjustment that I do. At the snap of the ball, if they're in man-to-man -man coverage, you see they're, the, they're, there's going to cause... Um, they're going to cause a man switch. So the running back, the outside guy is going to take the running back because he's going to that because you have a quads formation, essentially four by one uh, set. What that's going to mean is because of that man switch, you're going to have this drag is going to run wide open. It's very unique drag. It's not just a standard drag. It's a delayed drag, and that makes all the difference in the world. Now, what happens if they press coverage? Because we know that press coverage can sometimes give drags um, issues. You see with this, it creates a natural pick and a natural rub for Marquez Valdez Scantling, and it makes it even worse. Um, that's one of the – honestly, and I know it's just a drag route, but – this route gets such good separation against man-to-man -man coverage, it's insane. If you have a good receiver there, maybe in Mutt, this thing is going to really, really help you a lot. Um, there's just such a there's such a natural flow to this play. Um, there's really no adjustments necessary. Now, you see this little dig route is going to get inside position against man-to-man. -man. As you can see here, pretty much every route on the on the uh, play beats man this post route to Devontae adams is a very good post route it's very similar to the post route from curl wheel that we love out of arizona it's you see how it's got that angle now it's a little bit more sloped and if you know that they're taking i want to show you one thing real quick here but if you know that they're taking their safeties away like you know let me let me back the ball up and show you but like you know that they are you know, doing the shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top, putting the safeties in purple zones at 20 yards. Check this out right here. This is a tip um, that we talked about. I think I actually learned this from AntCap24, but basically what you do is all you do is you smart route um, Devontae Adams, and what you'll see here is he's going to basically turn it into a slant route, but it's a very angled deep up the field slant route, and so it's going to go for, you know, a ton of yards, and you can literally just lob it over the top. If you've got a good receiver, that's going to be a t that's going to be a huge, huge, huge play against that man-to-man -man coverage, so that's an option as well. The tight end route, um, just pass lead him down and inside, and for the most part, he does fine. He's kind of a check down read, and, you know, this route is 
you know, what one thing you can do with this, and I don't do this a ton, but you can actually turn this kind of into a mesh, uh, effectively a mesh sit route. Um, you see how he kind of sits there, and then it's going to create kind of a natural rub. You can do that as well. Um, one other thing that you can do is you can motion about his scantling out. You see he's going to still be on that nice long drag route, so he's going to come underneath it. Or actually, I think he did change his route. I'm sorry. So you kind of have to keep him there. I thought you could bring him out, but you can't. Um, one of the things that's really cool about the gun cluster is you could actually put that tight end on a zig route. He doesn't he because he gets all the wide receiver hot routes. And so here you see he's on a zig. See, there's another natural pick and natural mesh for this play. This is why I love this formation, because if they're running a lot of man coverage, and I'm telling you right now, if you've played Madden at all, you've experienced man coverage. This natural pick and natural rub for this receiver is absolutely critical. And even if even if they drop their safeties, I want to show you this. Even if they drop their safeties like this and maybe they use the, the post route, watch what's going to happen here. They're dropping their safeties and you they get you for two or three yards. Like, okay, and that's hard flats, right? Well, what's going to happen is if we go to the, if we go to, uh, the verticals play, now watch what happens so now same thing they're dropping their safeties we're going to verticals and look at Devonte adams look how much separation he gets he's gone i mean it's a dot a wide open touchdown so there's there's a lot of things that you can do with this and i'm just telling you right now this this drag route while it doesn't look that impressive is very impressive um it makes the shallow this is effectively shallow cross um especially if you take the wheel route here and, and that's basically what we're doing but you see all these man switches that you get and that happen on this play and most of these if not every route beats man the only route that doesn't really beat man is the route to the running back and that's because of the man switch he's going to take but what he does open up is he opens up inside position for everybody now, one thing you can do with the running back is you could put him on an out route if you want. Little little running back out routes are actually not too bad this year against man to man. Um, they're kind of okay. One other thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could put him on a wheel route and then motion him to the to the left because you're not really motioning anybody else. And you're going to see it's going to kind of keep everything else. I mean, everything else, the flow of the play is going to work just fine. So, all in all, like. This play is really, really good against man. Now, you may be asking, well, what does it do against zone? Is it any good against zone? The answer would be, yes, it is very good against zone. Uh, what you're going to see is this drag will get under most zones in the game. They're basically going to have to really shade their coverage down. They're really going to have to play underneath coverage. And what that's going to leave them vulnerable to is both this... Um, Oh, dang it. Good old Dime 146. One of the best blitzing formations in Madden. The only problem is it can't stop the run. But what you'll see here is if they if they shade their coverage down out of the Dime 146, this is why you put the wheel route on that side. Now you basically can hit either of these guys. I would just pass lead up that in route. Now, you might say, well, they're going to use her, right? They're going to use her the in route. Well, what they're going to do is they're going to use her the in route, and then they're going to have to jump to the post route. So if they do that, what's going to happen is snap of the ball and you see here i can still ah, didn't get it right there i can still kind of get that ball to um in that pocket there but what i can really do if they do that if they shade that coverage down they keep it underneath what you're going to see here is i can pass lead that wheel route to the outside because of the way the zones will work against that so those hard flats won't be able to go with it so you know this play and then the, you still have the back breaker route which is the post route and sometimes on this play, what I'll do is I'll motion Devontae Adams out just to give him a little bit more space. And what you'll see here is that little bit extra space makes that post route get in a very nice little spot uh, against most zone coverages. But you can leave it in compression if you want. Um, there's really nothing wrong with that either. You see here, he's still going to beat the zone um, as long as I have time to get the ball off. Good old practice med, super shed. Um, best defense in the game is the defense in practice mode in my opinion. But what you're going to see right here is Devontae Adams is going to come right over, right over this little pocket. Now that's why you, that's also why the wheel route is so important too. It's going to pull that deep third on the right. I forgot about that deep third. So that deep third will get pulled by that guy right there. Um, 
these zones are just dropping back like crazy. So, I mean, you can hit the underneath stuff. What I'm talking about is what they're going to start doing is they're going to put their hook curls at like five yards. They're going to, I mean, they're going to do all this stuff to try to stop those underneath once you hit them over and over again. And you're going to see this route comes right in behind the yellows. So, my opinion, this is one of the best Madden plays uh, in the game. Gun cluster is really, really good. If you want more on this gun cluster or you want more on the Arizona Cardinals playbook and hole, I would encourage you to pick up my Arizona Cardinals Madden 21 competitive bundle guide, which is in the description. It comes with my 46 defense, so it's complete defense, complete offense for you. It's bundled together this year, so you can pick that up in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much. I want to encourage you to text, text me. Uh, for more uh, tips and tricks, so we're gonna. I think we might do a, a whole Arizona Cardinals mini scheme to our texting members um, this week. I'm actually pretty excited to talk through that with some of you guys. But uh, anyway, if you haven't joined the text membership, be sure to do that. If you want to join the CFM, uh, just shoot me a text if you have any questions about the the online franchise that we're getting ready to start up. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet, there's a link in the description for that as well. Thank you guys so much. We've got three more videos coming tonight today on YouTube, and we will see you in a bit.